since we've been talking about love, hmm. can you, um, last time I talked to you about the meaning of life a little bit, but mm -hmm. here has, it's a weird question to ask a computer scientist, hmm. but has love for other human beings, for, for things, for the world around you played an important role in your life? Have you, uh, you know, it's easy for a, a world-class computer scientist, uh, uh, I mean, I, you could even call yourself like a physicist, to be, every, everything to be lost in the books. Is the connection to other humans, love for other humans played a, an important role? I love my kids. Uh, I love my wife. I love my parents. Um, uh, you know, I... Uh, um, I'm probably not not different from most people in, in loving their families, uh, and and in that being very important uh, in my life. Uh, now, I should remind you that you know I am a, a theoretical computer scientist. If you're looking for deep insight about the nature of love, you're probably looking in the wrong place <laughs> to, to ask me. But uh, but sure, it's been important. But is it? Yeah. Uh, is there something from a computer science perspective to be said about love? Is there, uh, or is that as, uh, is that even beyond into the realm of beyond the realm of consciousness? There, and all there, that? there was there was this great uh, cartoon. I think it was one of the classic XKCDs where it's a, it shows like a, a heart and it's like you know squaring the heart, taking the Fourier transform of the heart, you know integrating the heart, you know. Uh, you, you know each each thing, and then it says, "You know, my normal approach is useless here." <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I asked this question. I think there's no better way to uh, to end this. Guy. Right. I hope we get a chance to talk again. This has yeah. been amazing, cool experiment to do it outside. And yeah, I'm really glad you made it out. Yeah, well, so I appreciate it a lot. It's been a pleasure, and um, I'm glad you were able to come out to Austin. Uh, thanks.